Hey guys, I'm Alex from Zaxworks, and in this two-part tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a wireframe material inside of 3D Invigorator Pro. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this first tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and create the material, add it to a couple objects, and get the overall feel of what's going on. So we'll start off by creating a composition. So come up here to Composition, New Composition, and click OK. Come up to Layer, New Solid. Make sure it's the same size as your comp, and click OK. And now we'll go over to Effect and apply our Zaxworks 3D Invigorator Pro effect. Good, now let's go ahead and create a primitive by primitive sphere. And we have our sphere in our scene. Now go ahead and click on the setup window to open up our setup window. And now here is where we are going to create our materials. So over here on the right hand side of the material editor, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on this plus button to get another color shader and then change the color shader to a grid shader. Just like that, we have our grid editor. Make sure you have the default grid setting. Make sure the fill opacity is turned to zero because we don't want a background. Take the opacity all the way down and click OK. Now we'll zoom into our object, hold down the Option key on our keyboard, and drag our material onto our object. Now we'll turn the scale down, and just like that, we have some nice grid lines happening. However, in order for to make it wireframe, we need to be able to see through the object, right? However, we see this gray color. All this gray color is is the base color. So if I change this color, you'll see it update automatically. A quick way to get rid of it is just to turn this base color off. And just like that, when I hit render test, look at that. Nice looking wireframe material. Boom, already done. That was fast, right? Good, now let's go ahead and work with it a little more. So the first thing you can notice is that there's shading on our wireframe. This actually isn't normal. Normal 3D does not have shading. And the way we can get rid of the shading is click on this absolute color. Absolute color, this looks a little more normal for wireframe. However, we give you the option of doing any type of shading you want. So you can even have a Fresnel wireframe going on here. But I'm gonna go back to standard color. We give you the freedom. That's choice is yours for your own animation. For this tutorial, I'm gonna stick with standard. So now, since we have the standard color, let's go ahead and apply this material to text. So I'll go ahead, select my object and hit delete, and then come up to object, create 3D text. I'll slide, type in my words, something like the wire, click okay. All right, first of all, I'm gonna select my objects and then decrease the letting, pull those guys together. Click okay, view front to see the front of our objects, hold down our option key and drag our material onto our object. Select yes, and there we go. Now we have the material. Now let's do a couple things to make this look a little better. So first things first, the lines of our, our grid are too thick. They're too thick. So in order to make them thinner, very easy. Come over here to our RGB grid area, double click to edit it. Now you get your grid editor and we'll take our width. You see you can actually have nice width going on. We'll take that down to one, take the width of the vertical line down to one as well. And maybe we even can change the color, right? So let's take this to maybe some sort of, uh, let me get an RGB slider. Whoops, no. HSP, there we go. Let's take it to some sort of uh, turquoise color. There we go. And then we'll just select our um, eyedropper and select that color so it's the same color. Good, now we'll go ahead, we'll select OK, and we have our material. Now we'll take our scale, we'll decrease that, and boom, good. Now, we notice our material is being applied evenly across all of our objects, including the small little bevels. What we don't have is we don't have a nice material that is following the outside of our objects. So let's go ahead and create that. We'll do that by selecting new material, and then zooming into our object, select our eyedropper here on material editor and select our green to make sure we have the same green now we'll take our material apply it to dock number two select yes let's zoom back out so we can see what's going on and now this is where we want to work in the material editor the material splits in the material splits we're going to go ahead create a couple splits just by clicking clicking here so we now have one line right there and we'll have a line in the front of the bevel as well and so we'll drag our number two dock into there click yes Zoom back in, drag number two dock into there, and there you go. Click yes, and now you'll see we have these nice lines that follow the outside of our objects. So when I increase them or decrease them, you can see them moving, and it makes the objects a lot easier to read. This is great for legibility. If you want to make your text easy to read, these are just adding a line around the outside is nice and easy. All right, that's it for part one of this tutorial. We learned how to make the material and apply it to some objects, make it look good. Now, in part number two, I will show you some more advanced features on how to make it 
chromey looking, how to add some cool things to your wireframe material. Hope to see you soon.